recovery, we don't have to do it alone. Most of the time we do think that we're on our, we are by ourselves and um, alone. We feel alone. That is why we ran. But with the support that we have and we give one another, we don't have to feel alone anymore. Um, I heard a lot of pride and a lot of faith and hope and confidence once they um, got to where that they needed to be. Confidence and hope. Um, I as well heard a lot of hope and, you know, that there's, you can't, you don't have to do it alone. There's people out there that can help you. You can't get through it, you know, to believe in yourself, you know, and to believe that you do have a chance at life. I heard a lot of inspiration and motivation and people, some people who didn't have hope at one time, and now they have that hope, and they've been inspired by others. Well, I saw that it, do, it doesn't matter what age you are, that you could still be like my age and still be able to go to college and get a career and be stable for the rest of your life and do it on your own. I heard a lot of everyday struggles that people go through, not everybody's perfect in life and everybody has their ups and downs especially their downfalls and everybody's not perfect in life and everybody is a victim of something that has an effect on them in everyday living a victim of everyday life Well, I heard a lot of hope and um, pretty much anything's possible if you put your mind into it, you know, never give up. Um, I heard a lot of struggle. Um, you know, inspiration, um, you know, a lot of things on how the world is, you know, but you can overcome, you know. Um, I heard um, people's situations and what their situation brought to them, and that's it. I heard struggles um, and sobriety helps validate who we are now and their um, sobriety um, and perseverance, strong willed, building a foundation for ourselves, independence, um, motivation, and serenity, and <laughs> Independence. <laughs> Independence, motivation. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> motivation. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and serenity. serenity. We'll just send it like that. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Um, I heard a lot of the people talking about their own personal struggles that they go through. And um, what is it, whether it be death, sickness, violence, um, that if you don't give up, yes, yeah, sickness through violence, you can always get through it. You just can't give up. You can overcome. Um, I heard a lot of similarities to um, a lot of us here, and it's it's a good um, it's a good message because we're all working on becoming confident. A lot of us are here to break cycles that you know 
that our that our families um, have had for many years. And um, it's good to know that you know it's okay to set goals and know and believe in ourselves that we can um, achieve them. When in all reality, all these years we actually have believed that we couldn't. And it's very inspiring. Um, getting themselves back together again, one of the key things that I heard was breaking the cycle. Breaking the cycle because some of us, I remember once um, a supervisor told me, all you know is violence. Not because I caused it, but because I seen it, I witnessed it, and I experienced it. So that, that alone was a cycle in being in a domestic violence relationship. Um, and not knowing any different from that, you think it's right, but it's not, and sometimes you tend to excuse it. That usually, since all we know is, is that, um, breaking that cycle, it's um, breaking, um, it's like the bubble, I guess we, how can I say it in any different? Um, just living it, experiencing it, witnessing it, and being a part of it, you just get into that habit, not with the intentions and um, not wanting it, but sometimes you just can't help it. Therefore, I mean, getting the help and the recovery of rehabilitating your body, mind, and spirit, you break that cycle. <laughs> 